Do you know how you can make use of XLOOKUP for vertical and horizontal lookup together? Take a look. Here I have sample sales data and I want to make use of XLOOKUP here. So to start with, find the department of employee. So here I have the employee name as a dropdown and I want to get the department. So I can make use of X lookup here. Like this, lookup value would be the name of the employee followed by where you want to look here in this column. And what you want to return? Department. And what if it doesn't found? Blank. Exact match? Yes, which is zero. Close the bracket and first ask is done. Can you make use of XLOOKUP to get multiple columns? Yes. For example, here I want to get all three columns, Jan, Feb, March, for the selected employee. Again, I can make use of XLOOKUP here. Lookup value would be this. Lookup array can be something like this. And what to return? All three columns, right? So you can select all three columns. If not found blank, exact match, which is zero. And it is also done. You can make use of XLOOKUP even for horizontal lookup as well. For example, here we want to find Bob sale for the given month. So we can make use of XLOOKUP here, like lookup value this, where to look up? Here, right? Here you can look and what you need to return? Bob sale. So basically this one, right? If not found blank and exact match, close the bracket and it is there right and finally we can make use of x lookup to do vertical and horizontal lookup together for example here i have the name and month and i want to get the sales dynamically so how i can do it is first i'll make the first formula which is look up this name in this column and give me all three columns like this right and so this basically will give you three response, right? But we need to get only for the selected month, like February, January, like that. So this X lookup can be inside another X lookup where you will look for this month in this particular row and if found, whatever is returned by the first formula, right? Like this. If not found blank, exact match, close the bracket and it is done. If you want to learn advanced Excel formulas, you can join my data academy. Link in the description.